Although Ghana has arable land for rice cultivation, the country has over the years spent millions of dollars on importation. This worrying situation sparked a campaign for the consumption of local rice in 2019, igniting domestic interest in locally produced rice. Although some gains are being made with an increased demand for local rice, those in the sector are faced with numerous challenges that hinder their expansion. But there appears to be one threat posed by rice farming that has not been considered. The approach to rice farming makes it a major contributor to climate change, according to experts. Past estimates have suggested that 2.5% of human-induced climate warming can be attributed to rice farming. A research fellow at the United Nations University, Institute for Natural Resources in Africa, Dr. Gerald Foko, throws more light on how rice cultivation affects climatic conditions. Rice is a very important step. And so far, we have um, about 50% of our rice, or even more, being imported. And we want to increase the production of rice in Ghana. But the cultivation of rice could also cause us not to meet some other targets. So one target is SDG 13, for example, which is a climate action. We need to reduce the number of emissions. And the emissions are CO2, methane, and nitrous oxide. But the rise in temperatures that we're talking about what is cost giving rise to floods, giving rise to droughts, uh, as a result of increasing temperatures. And these temperatures are increasing because of greenhouse gas emissions. So if we are going to get enough food, but increase our greenhouse gas concentrations, and that will lead to climate effects, then we need to be careful. He adds that there is the need for farmers to be educated on the implications of some of their practices. Another professor at the University of Ghana Department of Soil Science, Dr. Samuel Adiku, says it is time to invest in more climate-friendly practices in the cultivation of rice. It's important to have measurements. So if you cannot measure it, you cannot manage it. So measurement becomes very important. And what we have seen so far is that measurement is very scant. And so we are basing our development policies on... Uh, grounds which are not very solid. Uh, we think uh, that way is risky. And therefore, we should invest in the measurement and be sure that whatever data we collect uh, provides sound basis for policy uh, decisions.